guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl noxy aka the girl on site i hope you're well i'm always good and today we've got another episode in site stuff i am on my way to site you know i just get so excited when people tell me a different approach to their building technology and today we've got something really cool that i know you'll enjoy so just sit back relax and let's go consider how this hard hat was gonna fit guys like the struggles of being a black woman on site oh my gosh okay okay this is gonna have to work <laughs> okay yeah this is gonna have to do it <laughs> So anyone who frequents the north of Joburg has spotted this massive development while driving down the M1 highway. This is the Barlow Park mixed-use development in Santon, set to offer over 1,600 residential apartments, a 3,000 square meter school, and 5,500 square meters of retail space. So aside from the construction, which is where all the visible action takes place, there's also so much going on behind the scenes. I mean, at this stage of the project, an array of retailers has already been set to occupy the retail space. It's already fully lit. You know, the usual South African grocery chains, pharmacy brands, and some big names in fast food. The developer has also set aside some of this retail space for more signature restaurant offerings. You know the food scene in Joburg. <laughs> But otherwise, it wouldn't be construction if there wasn't a major spanner in the works. This I saw right here is a 1.6 MVA electrical supply substation. That's mega volt amperage, guys. It's taken almost a year and a half so far to get rid of. Basically, this voltage level means that, you know, you need the public utility to come and decommission the plant and then you're allowed to, you know, move the substation elsewhere but it's out of their control. It's something you really need the public partners to come to the party to. So I really wish the guys good luck with this one. It will definitely be tough to close this one out. Something interesting though, is the difference between the natural ground level of the site compared to how much filling was done to raise the overall ground level across the development. I mean, that depth looks like, you know, an entire floor level. I mean, how crazy is that? All right, so moving along and getting to the exciting stuff. <laughs> well, the exciting stuff for me, at least. The construction approach adopted on this development involves the use of concrete throughout both the structural shell of the building, but also the internal walls. The difference being that most high-rise buildings use concrete for the frame alone, meaning the floor slabs, beams, and columns. But in this case, also the internal walls are being cast in situ, forming a grid-like structure with only the external walls being built up with base brick. So you can imagine how tight the margin for error is or how precise the placement of the formwork needs to be to avoid skew walls, for example, you know? <laughs> um, well, here's a look at the formwork being used uh, to cast these concrete walls. They're, they're actually quite massive. These are really, really huge formwork um, structures. And, you know, the guys couldn't tell me how much formwork's been used so far or how many tons of concrete they've poured. I mean, these are the kind of impressive stats you use to garner even more attention to this huge development. But hey, that's just me. I love the numbers in the game. <laughs> But overall, the residential component of the project intends to offer a range of unit types from studio apartments to one and two bed units.
This right here is the internal courtyard of the building and this will be the central recreational space for the future residential tenants. So take a guess, what do you think the price tag is for a mixed-use development in Santon sporting all the amenities, residential apartments, a school, retail facilities? Tell me what you think it would cost. This project right here has a budget of 1.1 billion rands. Can you believe it? <laughs> I, for one, cannot wait to see what a price tag like that will look like right at the end. Can't wait to see the finished product. So that about sums up the site visit, guys, which I really hope you enjoyed. Um, I'd love it if you hop into the comment section, just ask any questions or simply let me know what you think about this project. But otherwise, you know the drill. Please like, subscribe, share the content, and I'll be back real soon. Bye for now.